Today we're working on the front steering axle seal replacements. They were leaking. Uh, you can see up in there, pretty nasty. Doing both while I'm doing the uh, eco hubs and changing the gears back to 390 gears. Figured this would be a good time to do it. Here's the pass or the driver's side. Both of them needed it. And I've already pulled the axles out. There's other videos online that show how to pull the axles out of when you're changing gears. So I didn't feel like I needed to show that again. But so when they came out, these guys, the seal here was still on there. And they're a bugger to get off. Um, that one I got off, you can see. And this one's off. That's part of the seal. That's one part. So these are two piece seals. Let me grab the new one. So here's the new seal. And you can see this piece goes in there and this outer piece is still in the housing. And uh, to get this guy off of the axle, I found it best to take a big screwdriver and pry slowly around, working your way around. I did have to take it and hit it with a hammer to get one of them to move. Haven't tried these two yet, but I'm gonna assume they're gonna both be difficult. The purpose of the two piece seal is the part that's stuck on there is not supposed to spin on the axle, uh, which saves, when you have a seal failure, it saves from galling the axle. So uh, you can see here, let's focus. Yeah, you can see the rings from the seal wearing. Typically those rings are here, which you don't want. So when you're doing this, you got brand new surfaces on both sides. So uh, you don't have to replace an axle that way uh, because the axle had, the grooves are too deep. So this way you just replace the seal. All right, let me get back at it and I'll show you some more when I move on. All right, now to get this inner seal out, this is what I found to work so far. Put that up under there, a little tiny pry bar. started moving for me. I have to work my way around. guys got the picture all right so seals out you can see in there the spacer and the bronze bushing had the paper towel in there there's the bronze bushing that looks good but I'll check it with some inside micrometers check it against the axle see how much it's worn See how these two seals go together. So this guy goes in there, just like so. Okay. I think I might put that piece on the axle prior to assembly. So how hard those came off, I think it'd be simpler to put them on. But that may not be true. I don't know. I'll let you know. 
So here's the hub assembly. Look at the seal, kind of interesting in there. Still has the factory little where they pre-lubricate it when they make the seals. This one over here has the same thing. Those little marks there. It never even got used. 34,000 miles. So I've measured all of the bushings using this and then measuring that with dial calipers. Uh, there, I haven't measured the driver's side axle bushing, but this one, that one, and the passenger side all measured 1.896. So, and the axles actually measure quite a bit larger um, or smaller. Sorry, can't be larger, which is surprising. So, they're literally about 15 thousandths smaller. And all these are the same. So if everything measures the same, I'm gonna say there's no wear and that the bushings are good, but that's just how they made them. They made them pretty sloppy. Anyways, I'll let you know when I measure the driver's side. So under here working on pulling the center section out while I'm doing the seals. Also, I'm changing, I had uh, years ago, I put the 307 gears in it. Uh, now that I'm going to Eco Hubs, I decided to go back to the 390 gears. So I get to change out the hubs or the, the center differential again. Luckily, I still had the old axles uh, available to me. So uh, these are off of an MRAP. So pulled these back out and swap the gears back around. Big heavy job. Time to make a seal driver. So I didn't have a piece of tubing long enough and big enough diameter to make the seal driver so i'm gonna make it a two-piece so that's gonna be the part that's gonna go for the driver portion and then to make it longer to fit the axle i'll put that in there and then i'll weld it here um, and then i'm gonna pull it out of the lathe or part it pull it out of the lathe and then turn the other side to fit the seal. Parting the tool. Should be coming off here in a minute. There it goes. Caught it. Final cut. So, just finished the final cut. Uh, grab an old seal here. There we go. So, trying to take this inner seal off, or outer seal off.
so close. Silicone this one in. There it is. All right. All right. So I've cleaned up the axles, painted them. Uh, it was fun degreasing those guys. So this is the seal driver I made right now it's still it's not welded I'll get a longer piece of pipe that way it fits the long drive shaft I'll get that tomorrow put this guy on there and that's what it looks like so, and there all right tomorrow I'll Get a longer piece of pipe, weld it up, and start driving some seals on. Cleaning everything for reassembly is always the worst part about these jobs. Ugh. So, use the die grinder where they wire wheel to clean inside the this surface and the mating surface. Oops. Sorry, that's a lathe handle fallen Ugh. and then for the flat surfaces use this guy it works super good and I did it for both sides here and there and then I'll lubricate and or NICs I'm not sure what in between them for reassembly but just want a nice clean contact surface back to original it's 21 years old so we'll put it back the way it was maybe go another 20 years okay so I've measured all these brass bushings for the axle and let's see if I can get it to focus no anyways so this is the top it around oh can't see in that one so let me see if I can get into this one again That's the top. I didn't see any wear on there. I did see a little bit of wear on the bottom. You can see the little scoring. And I measured them and literally they're less than a thousandth difference between the sides and that. So, uh, bottom line, they all measured out to be the same size, pretty much within the thousands. I did measure uh, <laughs> chickens are in here. Anyhow, uh, did measure Uh, the axle shaft and you can actually I don't know if you can see so that's really polished so it's actually rubbing on the that's the outer uh, compared to the inner uh, you don't see any of the polish marks like it's not even running on the bushing on that side 
uh, and both of them, uh, you can see where it's extra polished, where it's been running on the bushing, and over there, not so much. So, uh, bottom line, oh, that's another thing. Uh, so these guys measure about 16 thousandths smaller than the bushing, uh, which is interesting. Don't know why, but bottom line, uh, they made it sloppy and it's gonna stay sloppy. All right, so finished making the seal installation tool. Basically, it's a long tube. And I end up just, I had some plastic material to, or UHMW machine down, press fitted in there. And you can see the seal, but drives down pretty easy. And I just used the ball to anchor to it. So I'm not just hammering into the wind. So this will be the second one I put on. Let's see. That's much easier with the tool. Say hi to Bulldozer. Bulldozer. He's deaf. Hey, buddy. Oop, sorry, man. One of the seals was missing. This little guy goes down in there. So instead of waiting for mail and all that, I decided just to machine a piece. So, got it in there. Off here. There it is. There it is. So, anyhow, improvise. Next is to drive the other part of the seal in. And fortunately, the CTIS driver that I made for the seals in there is gonna work for this one too. This is two-sided, so for the two different seals inside the where the CTIS goes. Um, anyways, this is the side I want out. So put that together. And then I'll start driving the other seals in. All right, uh, got everything cleaned up much better inside uh, got some silicone on here and if you guys haven't purchased one of these little guys oh my goodness for us old people that is a lifesaver squeezing it out and you get to use every little bit of it to ensure that I got it right I ended up getting a mirror and a flashlight and inspecting making sure it was seated all the way around so, and I gave it a couple extra good wax. Looks good. Now on to the next ones. Got the front put back together with the eco hubs. Brakes all back on. Yes, I changed all the bolts to zinc plated. Uh, just those black ones will tend to rust if you don't get a paint on it. And in those close quarters, I knew I wasn't gonna get good paint coverage. So, anyhow, I'm a little different on that aspect. And coming back to the back, got the back opened up and about to put the out, one of the covers on. You can see the clamp on there and everything. All right, 